Hello, this is a quick and simple Git and GitHub tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to uh, create a Git repository on GitHub, um, initialize that repository through the terminal, and then just uh, show you how to add files, um, make commits to um, your local repository and then push those local commits to the uh, the cloud or the uh, remote repository so to start you need to first create a github repository or any git repository this will work for any kind of git server it's just in this case I'm using github so what you need to do first is add a new repository just call it I'm gonna call this uh, YouTube git tutorial and description tutorial on YouTube um, and so I'll just put my blog website okay and then I'm gonna since this is gonna be a public repository I'm gonna make sure that anyone is selected in this case I I'm not um, a paying user of github so I don't have any private repository uh, uh, privileges so the first thing you need to do is um, uh, when you create a repository you have to set it up through the terminal and that's it's pretty straightforward um, go ahead and start off by I'm going to open a new terminal window hopefully you can see that um, but if you haven't used git before on your computer you have to first install git it's all pretty straightforward and simple um, you can look it up online uh, it's through the terminal and then uh, once you have that git installed uh, you do some basic configuration which is walked through on uh, your new github repository so you do git config blah 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 and it's uh, self-explanatory uh, so at each re each git repository uh, will have a local copy on your computer uh, so basically you can make commits to the repository locally and then when you're ready to show the world everything you can actually push that stuff to um, the git server so uh, we'll have a we will have a uh, dedicated folder to um, this local repository in this case we need to make the directory youtube dash git um, dash tutorial and then you, you change directory into that repository or in this case right now it's just a regular plain old folder and then you have to initialize git within that folder and then it says initialized empty git repository um, you have to well you don't have to but uh, you can create a readme file within your repository so that when people go to uh, your repository page on YouTube they will be able to read about uh, your repository, your project. Um, so we will go ahead and make a README file, and then uh, uh, in in Git you have to add a file or each file that you want to be available on the repository. You actually have to add it to the repository. Or tell tell Git that you want to use that file within your repository so we have to say git add readme or you could just do git add dot and that'll add all files within that repository that's my favorite um, thing to do in adding files you shouldn't really have any files that you don't want in your repository within your your you know your git folder um, so most of the time when you're adding files you would just do git add dot so you don't have to add each file individually um, and then we'll we'll do a com a git commit dash m um, is for defining a message for this commit. See, so um, if you're familiar with any other version tracking uh, systems, 
uh, you know, basically for each commit that you make, um, you should document it somehow. Like, what what did you do for that commit? Did you fix a bug? Did you uh, whatever? So we'll add a message in this case, um, just to kind of um, show you the concept. Uh, so you do git commit dash m for message, and then the message is a string, so you have it in quotes, and then we'll just say first commit, and then you can see that. Um, it's created the readme um, in the master repository or the root repository and then we have to do a git remote add origin and basically this is just telling the remote repository which is on github.com um, that this user in my case is Connor D that's how I'm um, identified on the git servers um, and I just basically point to uh, where and who this repository is coming from when I push it and then finally since um, if I refresh this page git won't know that it, I've changed anything because I as far as it's concerned you know I haven't actually put anything onto the remote server I've just been doing commits on the local side to actually make those commits public or on the remote server I do a git push um, in this case it's origin master and once once you uh, get past this initial setup phase um, you won't have to do git push origin master you can just do git push and it'll just push any changed files onto the remote repository. So at this point in time we um, should be able to see our remote files on github.com uh, within our repository and see um, at the top here you can say or you can see that um, I made my first commit or that's the message that I sent with my commit um, and then the only file within this repository is the readme which I uh, uh, showed you how to create and um, github makes it so that when you go to a uh, repository page uh, it just takes all of the readme text or the uh, text within the readme file and puts it down here as if it's like a description like um, like at the bottom of a YouTube video for example that would be the equivalent of here it's just it's taking all the text from readme which in this case there's nothing in our readme uh, we can click on readme and see that there's no text in there so that's basically um, how you initialize a repository and then before we finish up here I'm going to uh, go within my newly created uh, git repository in this case this is my root user folder and then it's under uh, youtube-git-tutorial I'm going to go within there. I'm going to add a file. I'm just going to go and text me here. And I'll say new. Um, and let's just make this like a JavaScript file or something. And I'm just going to put something in there. We're not actually going to run this file or anything, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put like an alert in there. Uh, put this in my. Sorry, let's, let's just put it on desktop for now. You can call it like test.js or something. And then I'll uh, move that file into. So here's test.js. So I'll move that into my repository. Um, and now, before Git uh, can actually use. Or, or track that file, I have to tell it to add that to my repository, and you do that by doing git add. Um, you can say test.js, since there's only one file, it doesn't really matter, but uh, once again, you can just do git add dot, and that'll add every new file within that repository. And then I'll do git commit dash m added test.js. Bam. And then I'll just do a git push. 
and that will actually put all those changes onto our remote git repository. If I refresh the page, you can see test.js. If I open test.js, you'll see that I have the code alert hello, which since we're not actually running this um, uh, within the browser, we're just reading it from github.com. It's not going to actually alert anything, but of course you can do that if you want. Uh, so that's just a quick and simple Git and GitHub tutorial. Um, check out other videos on my channel to learn about anything from iPhone SDK to um, JavaScript and web development. Uh, hopefully I can continue to make these videos and um, do it more often, but that's what I say all the time. So uh, thanks for watching.